All right, it's good morning, Programming 12, or afternoon, or whenever it is you're watching this. We are going to be learning about animation now, and in order to do that, we're going to have to remind ourselves about variables. And variables are very useful in programming. They allow us to store data. A uh, variable stores a single piece of data, although I guess that gets more complicated with objects. But let's just start with our what are called primitive data types, or just our good old you know variables we were using throughout most of the course last year. Uh, I'll begin with um, where and how do you declare variables? That's an important step. So let me just put out avoid setup and avoid draw just so we can see. Wow, some things avoid draw. There we go. So here's like your like super basic sketch. I'll put in a size, you know, uh, 800, 600, something like that. And what we want to do is be able to uh, make values that can change. So far, we've been doing things like hard coding all the numbers. Like we put in these numbers for our, uh, you know, the coordinates and size of our rectangle. But if we want them to change, possibly, uh, which you know will allow us to animate, we need variables. So there's a great place to declare variables that are called global variables at the very top of your sketch above setup. These are called global variables. They are accessible anywhere. There's a term called scope. Uh, a variable is where it's accessible, it's scope. So a global variable has global scope. It can be accessed anywhere in your sketch. And here's how you do it. You basically say the type of information you want to store and then a name for that variable. So for example, you can make integer variables. I can say int x and then semicolon. This here declares a variable called x that can hold an integer. Integers are values like um, 5 and 0 and negative 3 and, and so on and so on. So integer variables or int variables are useful for storing those, those types of values. A lot of the stuff we have worked with so far have been ints. So um, you know whether it's your coordinate of your rectangle or triangle points, or maybe it's the um, you know size of your sketch, all sorts of stuff we used were ints. So another type is called the float. Um, let's put in like pi or something like that. Uh, well, actually, that's a bad example. Uh, let's just put in um, uh, width. <laughs> no, I guess you can't do that one out. It's a built-in variable. W, it'll be. So W uh, is a float variable. What is a float? A float is a decimal value. So whereas ints make integers, uh, floats make uh, decimals. So something like 1 can be stored in a float, no problem, because technically it's like 1.0. So that's good. Uh, but we can also store like you know 0 0.5 or negative 2.8. And so on. Like these are the these kind of numbers. I guess rational numbers is a good way to put it. Rationals, hmm. that works out nicely. Uh, let's see. We also have things like boolean values. So um, a boolean value stores a true or false. I'm trying to come up with a clever name. Something like um, <laughs> um, f. I don't know. It's not not super great. But uh, it's basically either true or false. There's only two values it can store true or false and that's great for keeping track of whether something uh, has been done or not uh, whether something is allowed to happen or not like a switch almost to turn things on and off boolean values are fantastic and we learned a whole bunch of other ones last year as well uh, like we learned to make our own types and so on but I think the most important one I just want to remind you about is color variables like red. <laughs> so for example, for uh, red, uh, I could assign it a value and it stores a color. Uh, usually you can, well, you can store in a bunch of different formats, but um, you know, the easiest way we're using, we're just to store the hashtag hexadecimal values. Okay, so this is a good start uh, for, for declaring variables. So these are our variable declarations. You have to do this before you use the variable. If you don't declare it, it'll not know what you're doing. Like if I just start using a variable, uh, let's say in the draw function, I say y equals uh, eight. It's gonna be like, what the heck is y? It doesn't exist. We don't know what y is. So declaring a variable is sort of the, is the first step. You know, you have to tell uh, processing in advance what variables you plan to use. So this is how you declare the variables. How do you use variables? Well, it's as simple as assigning them values and they can change those values as you go through the draw function and that kind of stuff. So for example, you could de you could assign a value right away. So if you, in the global variable space, if you wanted to say, 
hey, guess what? Red equals a particular color. You can use equal sign to assign a value. And then you could say like whatever value of red you wanted to do. You could assign it you know, right here. And this is a really useful thing that I'd like uh, us to do whenever we're making a project. It just makes things more readable. So for example, I could go back to, let's see. Um, I don't have my house drawing. Oh, or I do have my house. Yeah, here's my house. So for example, in my house, I say like, fill this. What the heck is that? Like, I don't even remember. But actually, it turns out that's green. So I'm going to like make a variable called uh, green. And I can make a little kind of palette of colors, uh, which are just variable declarations. And uh, whoops, <laughs> that'll just help me to kind of self-document my code. So instead of saying fill with some thing, I'll never know what it is, I'll fill with green. And I can do that wherever I see, uh, wherever I want to use green, I can just type in green. This is blue, for example. So, you know, I can make a whole palette of colors and I can choose these colors ahead of time. Uh, instead of, you know, just thinking about them sort of on the fly, I can choose my palette and then use them. And that just makes things a lot easier uh, in the long run. So here's an example of where I use uh, blue. I could replace that with blue, but of course I have to assign it a value. Just giving it the name blue, you know, it doesn't really do much. If I, I can make a variable called blue and give it a value that's red, uh, the computer doesn't know what the words mean. Those are for me. Those are for the human to help this to make more sense uh, for the programmer. So you can see already this code looks better. Like I can see blue, green, and so on. So that's one example of a use of variables. And then in the next video, we'll take a look at how we can use these variables for, uh, for animation. So we can take things like coordinates. You can use variables for those and we can change them over time. That'll create um, some you know, excellent uh, <laughs> animation features. Okay, so thanks everybody. And we will see you in the next video.